guys, so today I am filming my Ipsy Glam Bag unboxing for December. I actually just got my bag in the mail today, which is a lot earlier than I usually get it. So I got home from work, grabbed my bag out of the mailbox, got all made up because I don't generally wear makeup to work because I'm really lazy in the morning and I'd rather sleep in. I actually haven't opened this yet um, since I only had to wait like an hour for me to get ready. I figured I could actually contain myself, so I'm going to open it right now. So the first thing that was in here is something that I actually got with my Ipsy points. Now you get points on Ipsy.com for reviewing products that have been in your glam bags and also for people signing up for Ipsy through your referral link. So yes, the link that's down below to Ipsy is a referral link for me, so if you don't want to give me points, you can sign up just by going directly to Ipsy.com, but it would be really cool to get points if you're going to sign up anyway. So, like I said, Ipsy is linked below. The thing that I got with my points is a beauty blender and a sample of the beauty blender cleanser. I'm super excited because I've never tried a beauty blender. I've wanted to, but I just haven't been able to bring myself to spend that much money on a sponge. And I'm weird about getting off-brand things. I didn't want to try an off-brand makeup sponge either. So, I'm super, super excited about this. It almost makes me want to wear makeup to work tomorrow, but that would require getting up earlier than 725, and I'm not willing to do that. But I'm really excited to have one of these and use it, and it's actually a lot brighter pink than I thought it would be. So, um, the theme for this month's bag is Celebration, and here's the list of products, and uh, yeah, then it just has a hashtag uh, of Ipsy for Facebook and Instagram and Twitter if you want to take a picture of your bag. So here is the bag. It's like a faux leather, almost like quilted kind of print. The diamonds are actually raised in it, and the bag, uh, the zipper rather, is kind of not on the top but into the side. So the first thing I have in here is a NYX lipstick in Miracle, and this is one of I think their regular round lipsticks, and it looks like a very bright kind of red orange color. This is a NYX round lipstick in the color Miracle. I've been on a lipstick kick lately so I'm excited to have lipstick in there. Let's see. The next thing in here is from Be A Bombshell and this is the One Stick in Girl Crush. Girl Crush? Yeah. And it looks like this. It looks like this is like a blush stick or maybe one of those like well, it's the one stick, so it's got to be a multi-purpose product. Um, it really doesn't say on the box. Um, nor does it say on the tube. So I'm assuming that this is one of those multi-purpose lip and cheek products. Uh, it is a very light pink with what looks like... It looks like it has shimmer in the tube, but I don't see any on the back of my hand. So, yeah, I got one of those. I've never tried, like, a multi-purpose... Uh, blush slash lip slash whatever else product like this. So I am kind of excited about that. Although I'm not very good at applying cream blushes. I always make them really patchy. The next thing in here is Andrea Strip Lashes. And I don't know, I don't see a style on here, but they're just um, very thick kind of fluttery pair of false lashes. And I actually haven't worn lashes in a really long time. I went through this phase where I wore them all the time and I just haven't in a while. I have no good reason to. So these look nice. The band looks kind of thick so they might be a little bit hard to work with but I won't know that until I actually try. So a pair of lashes in there. There is a nail polish and I'm not gonna lie um, any nail polish that they could have given me of all the options. There was actually a mini Starly polish which is an indie uh, brand. It was a glitter and I'm really 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 excited that there is an indie brand in um, in that bag and I've actually worked with uh, the maker of Starly before and she's super super sweet so I'm really happy for her that she got her polish as an option in the bag. There was also a Julie G Frosted Gumdrops polish um, which I would have loved to get but I got this um, Nika K New York polish and this is in the color um it doesn't say but it's like a brown taupey color it reminds me a lot of Metro Chic from Sephora by OPI, Steel Grey from Rimmel, like that kind of polish. It's actually a really cool bottle, and I know they offered this and a red color as well, and as much as I am not like a big fan of red nails, I think I would have preferred a red. Um, it sucks because I always love getting nail polish, and I'm really excited to have a nail polish in the bag, um, but it's just a color I have a couple of already. However, I did plan on doing a dupes video, so I guess I can throw that in there, but yeah. 
that's in there. And I've never heard of this brand before, but I do really like the bottle. Okay, so the last thing in here is an eyeshadow trio from Pop Beauty, and this is in Naturally Bare. I know there were two options for this, and I honestly don't remember what the first option was, but I know I would have preferred to have the neutral, which is what I got. So, yeah, this has three eyeshadows in it. Um, I'm going to have to open it because the pattern on the front is really busy, and my eyes aren't focusing very well. I got new glasses, but they're not here yet. I got contacts, but they're not here yet. <laughs> So I'm kind of just flying blind right now, which is really, really bad since I've been driving a lot. Okay, so I see these look like they all have some shimmer to them, but there is kind of a lighter, um, I don't want to say tan, it seems like a little bit darker than a tan to me, but there's a lighter color, um, a nice medium brown, and then a darker brown also, and it comes with a sponge applicator, and the lid on this is really, really secure, so I think this would be good for traveling because that's... A really tight lid. So that is my Ipsy glam bag unboxing for the month of December. As always, Ipsy will be linked down below if you guys want to sign up. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you later. Bye!